uh, the guys pushed for me. You know, I mean, uh, obviously Vice has had a lot of post shows, and they used real professional entertainers and comedians and hosts. I didn't have any of that experience, but we did Dark Side of the Podcast last year at the very start of the pandemic. Of the pandemic, I didn't have any reason, or I guess technically shouldn't be leaving the house. So, what was an extra hour a week of podcasting? I'm not going anywhere, anyways. So, we would just simply break down what happened the night before and hear the behind the scenes stories and. It was successful enough that the people from Vice said, hey, can we just do that on TV? And they said, yeah. And they said, well, have have him send us his sizzle reel. <laughs> I, I do mortgages, Dan. I don't have a sizzle reel. What does that mean? But I have a really great team who, who do video, so they snatched some things that I had done from Fight and from something else to wrestle on the WWE Network. And so they put it together and sent it over, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I sound like this. And I'm a big old fat guy, and I have no formal training. There's no shot <laughs> that this is working. And to my surprise, I get a number from a, Cana- a call from a Canadian number, and they said, "Hey, we just wanted to confirm your email address before we send your offer over." And I'm like, "I'm sorry," because I'm thinking, <laughs> "Is this a, a scam? Like they're asking me to Western Union them some money? <laughs> yeah. like, what's happening yeah. here?" They got an idea. And they're like, "Oh, well, this <laughs> is so and so from Vice. We were told that you're going to host the show." I'm like, "Okay, I guess I am." Yeah. And so they said the amount, and they're like, "How does that sound?" And I'm like great <laughs> and so then and, you know the, the guys were like hey we weren't sure if, if that was enough i'm like y'all are paying me to talk about wrestling on tv Sitting at i was gonna arena i didn't even know that at the time oh, okay but i was like i was gonna say yes no matter what but then of course i told my wife and she's like well where is it now this is the height of the pandemic so she doesn't want me to fly mm-hmm. so i'm like okay i'll drive and then they say it's the ecw arena and i'm like that's a long drive <laughs> So I recruited my, my stand-up comedian buddy, Cassio Kidd, who has his own podcast, Cassio's Cut. And I said, hey, why don't we just drive it together? Have you ever been to the ECW arena? And he's like, nope. You ever had a real cheesesteak? Nope. I'm like, you're going to now. <laughs> so he took off work. And our rule was, you just drive this whole tank of gas, and then you tag out. So That's a good rule. Yeah. 